Mike Still from Bison TV, proudly presented by The Hub. Here with two very fast individuals to my right and left. To my right, I have On, and to my left, I have Marcel here. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. On, I want to start with you uh, being on the Pakistani national team in the past and coming from Pakistan to Canada. Uh, what kind of adjustments did you have to make uh, language-wise or, or other things like that when you're first here? It's, it, it was for sure like a huge adjustment, especially like coming from an average of 25 to 40 degrees via train and then coming to straight negative 45. So it was for sure hard. I, I still remember my first season, I would never forget. Like sometimes breathing was even hard, training outdoors, the lung capacity changes a lot. So, and then language I'm still learning. So <laughs> kind of coming through. You sound excellent. Uh, I think you're doing absolutely <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Marcel, you ran last year with tonsillitis. You, yeah. you, you braved through the pain. You uh, came to Canada West with, uh, you know, not a ton of training in, obviously because of that, but you uh, qualified for nationals with a second place finish. And then you went to nationals and you finished third. Just running through that rookie season and how much, uh, you know, how critical it was to just be healthy and to have that rest going into those two meets. Yeah, no, honestly, just getting rest is the best thing for an athlete. Like, all the training that we do, it's hard to keep maintaining, so just the rest is what all you need to know. Certainly, and obviously you had uh, Alex Gardner as your oh. coach going in. Talk to me just about how uh, you learned from him and maybe with your starts and, and just different things that he was able to help you with because he's such a veteran of the all sport. Right. Yeah, coming out of high school, I didn't really know much. And with him, he really got to the specifics, taught you everything you need to know in a race and how to have the right mentality. So he helped so much with, uh, with everything, honestly. Um, we'll go back to you and just talk a little bit about uh, the relationship you have with your fellow 4x200 runners in the relay. Obviously a strong performance last season, uh, fourth place, and, and our relay teams have been historically strong in the past. Uh, yeah, just talk to me about uh, maybe what we can expect this season from you guys. Relay, like right now, all our relay teams are so strong. Like We have like such a depth in all of our relays, 4x4, 4x2, 4x8. And like, especially from last year, we finished like uh, second in Canvas and fourth in CIS. And this year coming in a season with like even more depth. So of course that would be a great advantage. And of course the relationship, you build up, you're trying to compete together, you're pushing each other like to run their best leg. So it's, all, it's always the best experience. Uh, Marcel, back to you. Just a little bit about the schedule. Obviously you got the Jack Johnson meet coming up this weekend and pretty much every single weekend there's a meet now. Uh, talk to me about the importance of resting up because you guys obviously uh, skipped out on this past weekend's meet to stay healthy and that. Uh, just talk to me about the importance of rest and, and how demanding your schedule is really. Oh no, it's super demanding. Uh, basically every day we're training, it's either a run or a lift. So there's a lot that goes on with our bodies. So rest is huge, a huge thing to take in with, with uh, our events. And uh, yeah, basically every weekend we're traveling somewhere, so yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I would imagine it's exciting to get to do that, uh, but yeah, obviously it's a key to be healthy, yeah. of course. Uh, on we're hosting National this year, we host Canada West last year. Uh, talk to me about the importance of being able to train on your home track, uh, having the familiarity with it, being able to sleep in your own bed, and just have your regular routine, really. It's, well, it's for sure, like having on your home track, one of the best things is sleeping in your own bed and like you're getting up you're going to your own track you have experience how to run those bends because not a lot of like uh in a whole most canada uh, canada canada country again my language sorry uh it's uh we don't have a lot of bend tracks not a lot of people have the experience that we have to run like uh bends as fast as we can or we know how to use the uh downhill and uphill in, on a bend so it's it's for sure great and then home crowd is a big advantage so especially watching really as you people will have really fun Fans, uh, come on out mid-March. We got Nationals. That's how uh, the track and field team here is hosted at the University of Manitoba. Uh, it's sure to be exciting by all means. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All the best this year. Thank you.